What's going on, random goers? This is Random Randy. And first of all, Merry Christmas. I hope you're all having fun with your family, friends, or other. Today, I'm going to be giving you a list, not of my top five GameCube games, but of my top five nostalgia-inducing GameCube games. These are the games that I used to play in my past, and I get a nostalgia nosebleed just thinking about them. These aren't going to be in any kind of cohesive order. These are just my top five nostalgia-inducing GameCube games. But without further ado, let's get into this. Starting off the list at number 5, we have Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom. This game is phenomenal by Heavy Iron Studios. It has so many references from the actual Spongebob Squarepants TV show. The game's graphics were great for its time. It has each level has varying objectives that you can complete in any order. You can unlock new skills, there's a hub world, there's NPCs, of course. But back in the day, this game was gaming bliss to me in my little mind, upset for Spongebob. Now I got to play through the episodes myself. Now from this point on, every game on the list will be among the first games I've ever played. And that doesn't change my opinion about them at all. And number four, we have Mario Power Tennis. This game was great. This is, I think, the only Mario game I've ever played for GameCube. It has bosses and it has like doubles mode, singles mode, and the tournaments and mini games and the paint mini game. Like it, this game is full of content, especially to me. I think I was like what four years old, three or four years old when I played this, and I was hooked to it. My mom used to say, "You have to clean the room if you want to play the GameCube." I the whole entire room was clean within minutes. I loved the Mario Power Tennis and Jesus. And number three, we have Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Now, this game was beautiful when I was younger. Like, I, I used to like love how they had you playing Donkey Kong, and at the bottom left corner of the screen, they had like a larger representation of Donkey Kong doing everything that your character was doing. I used to love how you can combo the bananas together and get to higher places. And I used to love combat in that game and the bosses. Like the whole game was great. I didn't actually own the Congo Bongo things, but I did use a GameCube controller. And this was the first Donkey Kong game I've ever played. And boy, was it good. They had different kind of kingdoms, the banana kingdom and the orange kingdom and the apple kingdom. Each kingdom had a boss at the end, which was a Kong of its own. And the game played great, it looked great, the music was great, and I I wish I could just go back and play this game again today, but I don't have the money. <laughs> number two and number one almost took each other's spot. It was a close, close race. But for number two, we have Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg made by Sonic Team. This game was awesome, and something it still holds up today, graphically, and gameplay wise i don't know i haven't played it in many years but when I, I do remember when i did play it i had very fond memories of it you can have little animal creatures you roll your little egg around and you can collect fruit and bubbles to make your egg larger and then you can use little dash hoops and you can like charge into people with it you can hatch the egg by doing a little doo -doo 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 -doo, the little cock -a doodle doo chicken call that game was amazing and that still remains to be one of my favorite games of all time till this day i'm just waiting for sega to make a remaster or a sequel to that game i will buy it even if it cost 80 bucks without modern warfare remastered number one the game that gives me the most nostalgia feels is not a mario game or a zelda game it is ribbit king and rightfully so this game is awesome. Let me explain. You get frogs, you get golf, you mix it together, and you get froth. You play as a guy with the fin type hat named Scooter in his sidekick Pickwick, and you go from planet to planet to play froth against your opponents, and each opponent you meet on the new planet has some kind of opening cinematic that introduces them, and they're always funny slash adorable. And after you beat each opponent, you get a frog based off their planet slash them that has different attributes that would make you want to play it in different scenarios. The game has more depth than you would think with certain objects on the course interacting with your frog and your frog interacting with them to get more distance or to completely stop your ball in its tracks or frog. This game is awesome. I've never experienced any issues with it as far as I remember because I was young, but I used to sink hours into this game. This is going to be the best golf game you ever play 
I recommend playing it now. Whether you have to buy it off Craigslist, you have to shoot a squirrel in the thigh for it, or you have to emulate it. So that was my top five nostalgic GameCube games. Leave a like. This video took a lot of work because I made this. I started on Christmas Eve and I had to make it come out, before, you know, on Christmas. And top five and top ten, etc., are pretty hard to make. So to show your support and tell me that you enjoy it, leave a like and then comment what you thought about it and what are your most nostalgic games. Also, what did you get for Christmas and did you enjoy it? Let me know down there as well. See you guys in the next video. I'm happy I got this out. If I even did, I can't.